how to document your work in the virtual practicum. As we move now into the implementation phase, I need to be able to monitor progress and everyone's working in different locations. So we are now past your delineating what you're going to do. You will also have created a theoretical framework, that's the separate paper, and each week you're going to be working on your project and you'll be going to report out what actually is happening. When you go to the website, you'll see that every week you are required as you develop your work to document it. When you document the work, that means that you will be taking snapshots, you'll be doing machinima, and you'll be putting that into this particular space where I will be looking at through a link where you've gone to. You won't be attaching things there. I've set it up so that you will be able to simply give me the link to the class website. Because it's important that I be able to see your work, and Moodle itself will not store this work after the semester. I've created the class website. You've all been able to get into it. When you're in the website, I'm requiring that you put your documentation here so that you will have it later for other courses or for your ePortfolio, and so that it doesn't get lost when Moodle goes away. All the directions that you need are available on the home page for how to use this. There's also a resources and info page that I created where I'm putting some of the latest materials. There are a lot of websites that I have about this virtual building. There's also a lot that you can Google for. And so I'm putting like a summary here that directs you to other websites. Another useful feature here, in addition to your being able to store your work, is something called recent site activity. And that's a good way to go in and see who's been adding new things that you may want to look at. It's not required that you review each other's work, but you can get a lot of benefit by doing that. Although I will have a progress report of sorts embedded within the class website, the information is too diverse and I need a summary report that allows me to kind of compare where everybody is. This is a private report and when you click to open that, you'll find that I put it within a Google form. You're going to just give me a summary update of how you're learning, what you're doing, what your next steps will be and I will be requiring this every two weeks. You will also at that point put in a link to the documentation that you've been putting into the class website. So as you're working in developing materials you will have that paper that is due in the end of module 6 and for the final module you're pulling your work together that you've been saving in the class website and you're going to create an entire report that will document what you've been doing throughout the semester. Now some of you are actually making materials, some of you are having events, and some of you will have a combination. I will be putting into the next module these different activity sheets. This one is for those of you that are going to be having events. I want you to document within this template your thoughts about how you're going to organize your work. Some early virtual practicum pioneers have done a very great job and I'm looking forward to the way you will be documenting and reporting specifically on the work you're doing.